Hey guys, so today I wanted to test out some new makeup. I was watching YouTube and felt the need to buy some more stuff. So we are going to be putting that to the test today and we'll just get ready together and see if this stuff is any good. So I did get a sample of a new primer in my Sephora order and it's the Dr. Brandt Pore Refiner Primer. But since I'm using a new foundation, I don't want to try this today. Uh, so I'm gonna go in with my absolute favorite Tylamide HA Blur. So literally, as I was adjusting my table, so I have my desk behind me and then I film on a table in front of me here and I was moving it forward and I spilled my entire Starbucks drink on my carpet, which is like off white. That was really fun. Maggie, please let me film. Okay, sorry if like the lighting has changed. I've switched it up like four times in the past two minutes. I'm just trying to figure out my new camera. I feel like I look very blue in my viewfinder. So we're just gonna keep going. The main thing that I'm most excited to try out is this Nude Sticks Tinted Blur. And I believe this is, I wouldn't even call it a foundation, but it's, like a tinted moisturizer and a stick type thing, but it's supposed to, I can't get it open, blur imperfections and, it's supposed to blur imperfections and give you some coverage. I have the shade medium four, and I don't know if this is even going to match me. I think it's light enough where I can kind of blend it out and get away with it not being a perfect match. So it says this is a tinted sheer coverage, lightweight all over face stick that blurs texture to have a naturally smooth, no filter skin. Okay, sorry. I'm just going to apply this straight to my face. I saw, um, yeah, it's a little dark I think, but it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna try that sentence again. I saw Melissa Alatori using this in a um, video. Can I, I can't even speak. I, sorry, I can't do two things at the same time, apparently. I saw Melissa Alatori using this in a video and it gave her skin such a beautiful finish. And it did cover a bit, but it still really looked like skin. And I'm all about products like that. Uh, to me, this is very reminiscent of the Glossier Skin Tint, but maybe just a bit more coverage. But this blends out so smoothly and easily. I do think it blurred my pores in this area pretty nicely um but this is so easy to blend this is like perfect i think if you just want to like throw something in your bag and go because you just need your fingers so i really like this so far if you have really problematic skin and a lot to cover you probably won't like this if you're into that sheer coverage very easy product you might want to check this out i really really like this so far and then for concealer i'm going to use my milk makeup flex concealer this is my absolute favorite concealer right now the only thing that bothers me is the stopper broke so i get so much product when I don't want that much. I have the shade light. I'm trying to spread this out, but I just keep applying more product. I don't want to blend this out all the way. I'm just trying to disperse this a bit. I've been watching a lot of Jackie Ina's videos. I love her. And uh, I see that she always leaves her concealer just to like set for a little bit. So I'm just doing that because I feel like it gives more coverage that way. The only thing with this Nude Sticks product so far is I feel like it is a silicone based product. I don't know. I don't know the ingredients in here, but it feels a bit slippery on the skin. I don't know if that's because I used a primer underneath. Um, obviously, I just put it on like five seconds ago, but I feel like this may slide a bit if you have really oily skin. So I was thinking of doing, um, I know a lot of you guys have asked for wedding videos, like either you're planning your own wedding or, you know, you just want some wedding videos. So I kind of put together a list of how I selected my vendors and what I looked for in vendors because I'm planning my wedding from New Jersey and my wedding is um, out of state. Wedding is about two hours away from where I live so I've done a lot of planning online. I just kind of want to know if you guys would be interested in me filming that. Yeah basically I talked about how I found my vendors and like some tips for selecting vendors when you're not necessarily able to meet up with them in person and things like that. So yeah let me know if you would be interested in that. Okay moving on. I think today I'm gonna go in with my Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer. This is such a staple for me. 
Um, I have the shade Baked. If you want a cream bronzer that is incredibly easy to work with, I'd highly recommend checking this one out. This and my Chanel Universal Tan are like the two easiest cream bronzers that I've ever used. So I've just used a stippling brush and dipped it onto the product. I'm just going to buff this on my wrist first so there are no harsh lines and then go in with this on my face. I'm going to use this to dust over my nose too. Whew, it is so hot in this room. It's so warm out today. It's like 87 degrees and I can't have the fan on while I film so I'm sweating right now. Let's set the skin just a little. I don't want to set too much um, because I don't like too much powder so I'm going to use a really small amount. I'm using the Honest Beauty, what is this, um, Invisible Blurring Powder. And I'm just going to like really gently tap this onto my face. Okay, so now let's move on to eyes. I picked up this Nude Metallics three-piece mini eye set, again, by Nude Sticks. I like how all their products come in these little tins. Oh, but they're hard to open. Okay, so this comes with a sharpener and three bronze shades. They kind of look a bit similar in tone now that I'm looking at them. I love a good bronze eye. It's my favorite eye makeup to wear, so I mean, I'm not too mad about that. So we have the shade Nudity up top, Burnish in the middle, and then Smoke at the bottom. So when I swatched these yesterday on the back of my hand, I had to go in with like makeup remover to take them off. So I think that they're going to be pretty long wearing, which is nice. So I am going to use the shade Nudity first. Then I'm going to use Burnish, which I think is my favorite shade from this trio. And... I'm going to put this from the center outwards, just using my fingers to blend the edges. And I'm also taking this on the lower lash line. And then I'm just going to use a bit of smoke at the upper lash line. And a little bit right at the lower lashes, so I'm not going to bring this down. I love the finish of these metallic pencils. I think they are gorgeous, and you get like a really high impact look with barely any work. This was super easy to do, but as I kind of mentioned before, I feel like on the eyes, all of the shades kind of look a bit similar. So what I'll probably end up doing with these is using them as like a single color all over the lid type look, which is normally what I end up doing. Still beautiful nonetheless, I think. And I also like that they're not too creamy because I don't feel like I have to set these. They kind of just stay put. So I have two new mascaras and one of them I've used before, but I wanted to mention it because I really like it. It's the Glossier Lash Slick. This is amazing for natural lashes. This makes your lashes look like they are naturally amazing. I've pretty much worn this every day since I've gotten it. I've gotten so many compliments on my lashes and how, oh my gosh, your natural lashes are amazing. And I don't have great lashes, but uh, another mascara that people have been going crazy over is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. Before I was actually running a promotion where they were giving a free sample of this away with orders, so. I figured I would try it out. So I feel like this is separating my lashes really nicely while giving me length and volume. So that's cool. We're going to do two coats though because I never do like one coat of mascara ever. <laughs> okay, so for blush, I actually have a couple of new ones as well. I found these two new Wet n Wild blushes at the drugstore and I haven't tried Don't Flutter Yourself yet, but I've used Hummingbird Hype and that is so gorgeous, but I feel like it doesn't really go with my vibe today so we're gonna skip that but today I'm going to use a new milk makeup blush that I got if I can find it this is their like lip and cheek colors and this is in work I really love this I actually really like using this on my lips as well I prefer to use a brush with these um, I you could just totally slap these on your face and blend it out with your fingers. So I like to put some on the back of my hand first and then dip the brush in there. This is just a really nice kind of naturally flushed shade. All right, so we have that on. So do we have anything else new I wanna try? 
I don't think so. Let's highlight. So for highlighter, I'm going to use ColourPop's Lunch Money. This is my favorite everyday highlighter. Totally forgot I had one last new product and this is the Nude Sticks Eyebrow Stylus Pencil and Waterproof Gel. I've always wanted to try one of these brow pencils that has these like little squared off tips. It's not overly creamy or soft like um, my Milk Makeup Pencil, which I love. This is not as waxy and creamy. I feel like the color is really nice for my brows. On the Sephora site, the Ash Brown swatch looked so weird, so I was a little bit nervous. So let's apply the gel. I like these smaller applicators. I don't like big brow gel brushes. I feel like this would be really nice for travel because everything is just in this one little pen. I think I'm going to add a touch of the butter bronzer, just very, very little. Okay, and the last thing is lips. I am a lip balm girl. I'm going to first use the GlossierBalm.com. I have the coconut and then go back in with work. And I like this because it mattifies the lips just slightly. I believe this is one of their newer colors that was just released. Uh, not just, but like the most recently. Okay, so this is my makeup completed. Overall, I do really like the Nude Sticks products. Um, I really do like this brow pencil a lot. And this um, gel seems to be like a nice stronghold gel, which is good because my brow hairs are crazy and like to end up all over the place. So I really like that. I love the way that this blur stick is making my skin look. The only thing I'm worried about is oil control. So I'll probably have to keep a blotting sheet or some powder nearby if I'm wearing this. But for me, I'm willing to kind of make that sacrifice if something makes my skin look this nice. So I really, really like this. But if you have very oily skin, eh, you, you may not want to go for it. And the magnetic eye sticks, I think are really pretty. I just feel like there's not enough shade variation in the particular kit that I got. I really wanted the boho set when I was online, but they were actually out of stock. But I think in general, um, speaking to the quality of the product, um, I like that the uh, these have not creased so far at all. I didn't set them with powders or anything as you guys saw. There's nice pigmentation. Uh, you can blend them out with your fingers so they're quick and they're easy. So overall, I do really like these as well. So yeah, I guess that's going to wrap up today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you next time.